Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. We're your host, Kirby King. And Black Superman. Also known as David Clark. And Walter Bryan. And today we're talking about the Attack on Titan ending has been leaked. Yeah, now, okay, we know that we're a little bit late. We understand that. Yeah. You know. One of you guys, one of our viewers, brought it to our attention. Thank you. Yep, so we're going to talk about this now because, well, let's face it, we want to talk to you. Yeah. So, okay. The ending. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Okay, well, first off, Dr. Moto, the, the guy who created Titans, we've never seen him yet. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to be upset about something or, or feel anything about it when you don't actually know the character who supposedly is the most well, important character here. He might have been. We there. have an idea as to who yeah. it might be. So, I mean, I mean, since the whole ending is being rewritten anyway, we'll just tell him. We think yeah. we thought it was the Monkey Titan. Yeah, we figure it's the Monkey Titan. Because, you know, remember when the, the Monkey Titan um, catches one of the Survey Corps and he takes a look at the, um, 3D, the gear. 3D gear and he's like, yeah. This is pretty cool. Look at what they came up with, and he smashes it. Yeah, you know uh, that—that's something that a doctor would do. Yeah, I think it's interesting, or the fact that he can speak full sentences, or and a lot of times the people in fiction, you know, mess with you know, evolution and powers and whatnot. For some reason, being a monkey is always like the highest form because it's like evolution. You mean like, like Gorilla Grodd? Basically, like he's like Gorilla Grodd, except he started out as human, and he's you know humongous. Yeah, like Gorilla Grodd is well, he's humongous compared to us, but. Compared yeah. to the Titans, he would, you know, not He be probably bad. gave himself the best powers and just, didn't it just gave everybody else, like, one power. <laughs> um, but what it what was is that he hated people who were religious. Um, and he sent the Titans out to basically destroy everybody and just gave his followers Titan Shifter powers. Which means, I, does that mean Annie and Bert Holt and Reiner are, like, stupid old? It could. But no, it seems like Annie was born not too long ago. I mean, in the flashback... She didn't seem to be that old. And she's wearing a sweatshirt. I don't think they yeah. had them back then. They so, shouldn't leave them now, either, though. Yeah, they really shouldn't. <laughs> I mean, but then again, it doesn't look like they have any kind of technology at all except for 3D gear, so. Which is pretty advanced. We, we, we can't do that today. We might be able to. Mm. We can build, we the can military, build a right. We could build a Gundam. So, <laughs> I mean, you know, 3D gear. Now, finding somebody brave enough to use it, that'd be something completely different. Just find, I'm, sh I'm sure there's somebody out there. Oh, yeah, there, there, there's a SEAL out there somewhere who would use it. Yeah. Or, or he's it. currently using it right now watching this video. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, yeah. Um, and then, which opens up, I mean, the ending opens up a lot of different possibilities. We, you know, Bert Holt and Reiner and Annie may not have been necessarily bad guys, even though Annie was told to hate humans, which that's kind of Yeah, because they, they kind of seem to be and in the middle of, on that, you know. They but it explains some things. For example, the followers apparently formed the giant circles that made the walls, and they made, you know, that barrier so they could wait out humanity. That... But then it makes it builds a question as to how did humans get in there and why are they there? Right. And also, uh, it doesn't. It did, well, from what we could tell, it didn't mention um, Armin or any of the other characters like Potato Girl, Sasha. Um, but because they've been taking it down mm -hmm. wherever it's popped up on the internet, so we're only getting like small recaps. Yeah, basically, people who have read it and they're they're just writing out what they remember. Right. So then, like. The the important details are what happens to right. Aaron, what happens to Mikasa. Aaron's um, dad. He did. Yeah, yeah. He, he was dead. killed for helping humanity. He was making. He made his own version of the serum, right? Yeah, that and then he made a Titans. antivirus. Which, first of all, like, why wouldn't you have like publicized? Hey, we can make our own Titans. Like, we need to do this now. Because why would you though? What? I mean, because look, you already saw what happened to Aaron when once they saw that he could turn into a Titan. No, no, no. I mean, before that, once you get the serum. If he had made it public, if people, if, if they knew there was a way that they could turn into Titans, him being a Titan later on wouldn't have been as weird. The wall worshippers would have blasted him. Nah. They well, well, okay. Aaron's dad might have still. Well, actually, no. He would have been. He would have been protected by the uh, mm -hmm. by a survey corps. Possible. Because Levi would have been like, Nah, man. I need. But you. see, now that now that we know that this is about um, hatred of religion, i.e., Christianity, it's um, always that. <laughs> if you pay attention now, there's kind of an undertone of hatred of of of, of religion all the way through it anyway. Yeah, with the wall. I mean, they kind of make fun of the make the the wall the wall worshippers. I have to admit, I think it was episode twenty five. We both laughed when they we were laughed. praying, like <laughs> let the god of the walls protect us. Oh god. They got crushed by Annie. That was we laughed our butts. That, that I watched that, that scene three times. <laughs> <laughs> but I I actually was at work um, doing something and I was on my break and then when I saw that scene I immediately texted him and said <laughs> this was the funniest thing I've ever seen. It was funny. It was funny. I mean, it yeah. Funny. But um, it seems like, like it seems like from what his like from his interviews and from the show 
he seems to really hate religion and bullies. Um, which is what he sees Titans as. Uh, so, obviously they're rewriting it, um, which is a good thing because, well, he was rewriting because of this. Um, I don't really know why it was leaked. Um, I know someone got fired. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, he was also rewriting it, you were telling me, because... Yeah, I, I read an interview with him and he said that um, there's been so much love for this, uh, this series that he's decided that he can't end it the way he was going to. Because he was going to end it really badly. Like, the entire world was going to come to an end. Aaron was going to die. People were going to be... It was going to suck for humanity. Humanity was going to lose. Titans were going to be left. And he decided that it's going to have to have a more hopeful ending now because everyone loves this series so much. Yeah, and the Survey Corps will always win. If Levi dies, people will stop it's watching wrong. the show. People, people will stop watching it immediately. Yeah, it's like with Walking you can't Dead. Kill, you can't if, kill. Yeah. If Daryl dies, I'm done. They got <laughs> close. I, mean, I personally, well, okay. <laughs> I'm actually still kind of done with the show because Herschel. They, they killed Herschel. I mean, yes, he died because he was like, I'm now ready to die. But I took it off my DVR. I'm like, no, I'm done. AMC's The Walking Dead. I'm done. Yeah, and I, I still actually haven't watched that episode yet because I can't bring myself to do it because Herschel... Yeah, he had a samurai death, though, dude. His hair was blowing in the wind, and just his hair. No one else. <laughs> <laughs> no one else was, had wind. It was amazing. But anyways, like, you know, Levi, he's, he's he can't kill Levi. There's too much fandom around him. Yeah, you can't kill Levi. You can't kill Aaron, obviously. You can't kill Mikasa. That's yeah, you not going to work. Yeah, no. Well, so Armin's got a following, and you've got... Apparently, a, like a big thing in Titan community is Armin and uh, and Annie being together, which she would really need to be found out as a as a really good agent of humanity for that to work. Yeah, and, <laughs> and Armin's kind of short. I mean, I'm just I'm just putting that out. Maybe there. she likes it like that. I mean, she she likes she likes him. She didn't kill him. She yeah, that's true. Now speaking of speaking of of short mm -hmm. and tall. Okay, we were talking about cosplayers earlier, right? Right. Okay, now I've seen a lot of uh, girls running around in Attack on Titan cosplay, you know, wearing the Survey Corps. Okay, I need to see a Titan cosplay. Yes. And instead of getting, like, an outfit, just, just be naked and run around. Because that's what Titan. Titans are doing. Yeah, yeah be, just, be so authentic. Just handle that. So every female hot cosplay out there, just do that. And then just one time, you can only do it for us if you want to. Yeah, just yeah. Yeah, I mean, it might be bad to go to a con like this. Yeah, we so just you know we just throwing it out there. Yeah, you know, say it. It was a it was a little idea. <laughs> now you were telling me that um, the uh, writer for Gundam was a uh, that is that's gonna be its own video because I have so many conflicted feelings about this. Basically, but we need to mention it though. J just so you know, our next video, which is gonna be coming out right after this one, so just watch that one too. Yoshiki Tomino. The man who created his own genre, who made the phenomenon, the force of nature that is Gundam, uh, came out a couple weeks ago saying that he does not like Attack on Titan. And I like Titan. You know, it's been a really awesome year, but Gundam is like right here. It's a part of my heart. Like, I have the Xeon flag above my bed. Okay, for, for some of you who might not actually understand what he just said, let me put it to you in American comic book terms. I love the Hulk. I love Superman. If DC said to love Superman, I had to give up the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like I I would be conflicted, but the Hulk has to go. I, I wrestled with it and I was like, if he if he says Titan is bad, then it must be right. Because <laughs> like I was a Gundam fan before, I'm a Gundam fan now, and I'm a Gundam fan to the day I die and maybe five days after that. Like, I, I, and this is serious, I have plans on my casket, there will be a Xeon flag draped over the casket. I die the way I live. Yeah, you know, it's funny, because I'm like, I go on to a couple of uh, comic book websites, you know, to do some research and stuff, and I see a lot of people who simply can't love DC because they love Marvel. It doesn't matter that DC has American, amazing characters. Right. And the same people, like, you see DC people, they just cannot love Marvel. They just can't. Like, it doesn't matter that Captain America is basically a DC character in Marvel. I, I will admit, I, I was that way until I found the Lantern Corps. <laughs> and then they, they won me. But I, I understand that. It's like, I'm an Android fan. I can never, ever love anything Apple. Say it. Preach, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> but just say it, you know. Um, you can love two different things. However, I totally understand that if you go, 
the guy who created the thing I love the most said, this is horrible. Yeah, Rich Brains, he, he, he yeah. must be right. If, if Orson Scott Card came out and said that I could no longer read any other sci-fi, I might have to do it. Right, I mean, like, dude, from, from just where I'm at right now, I see three Gundam things just right here, just randomly. I, I don't see anything Titan. Gundam they don't really sell anything Titan. Oh, they do. I've not, seen not, around, not around where we are. Like no, I mean, like, we're, we're, we're in California. Like, I, I, I mean, I've seen, I've seen stuff for Titan, and like eighty dollars for you know for like that jacket, that's too expensive. I will go buy like an, like a hundred dollar like napkin <laughs> with Gundam <laughs> on it though. <laughs> so um, he loves Gundam so much. I bought Gundam stuff. Understand? I don't, I, I don't watch Gundam. I have seen maybe six episodes of Gundam all together. You know, I've seen like a couple of episodes of Z Gundam. Um, I saw that one thing with the tiny Gundams with the big Super heads. deformed. Yeah, those. Um, I don't care about Gundam. I have paid money for Gundam mm-hmm. because, because he likes Gundam. That's how amazing it is. However, I have not paid anything for Titan, and I love Titan. So that's going to be a whole other video where I will spill out my heart and anguish to the interwebs. <laughs> uh, but until that next video, you've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not so great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks. Till next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys.